Update 2 on Typhoon Fanfone, which is currently a Category 2 storm with winds of 105 miles per hour and a pressure of 956 millibars. Its position is 31.3 degrees north, 133.2 degrees east as of 2 p.m. UTC on October the 5th. Of course, Fanfone was a Category 4 storm in the past few days, peaking with winds of 140, uh, but has now begun to weaken and that's likely to continue. That that doesn't mean that Japan is in the clear because typhoon conditions are still to be expected across most of the southern half of the mainland including the islands of Shikoku and uh, Kyushu as well which is the island it's closest to at the moment it could also prove to be an issue for the Tokyo area as well, which the storm could still retain typhoon status as it crosses over that area uh, before moving out to sea towards the northeast and eventually turning post-tropical. Uh, but as it stands, a Category 2 storm and we have typhoon warnings in effect for most of southern parts of Japan, with gale advisories in effect elsewhere for Okinawa as well on the other side, uh, but for most of the northern half of Kyushu as well as uh, large parts of Honshu were looking at gale advisories there which could develop into typhoon warnings particularly along the southeastern part uh, of the coastline there on uh, the island of Honshu. So sea surface temperatures remain fairly warm around the storm right now, around 26 degrees, but that's not likely to continue for much longer. The storm will enter less favourable conditions, uh, but land will go and get in the way anyway, so that will further reduce the storm's intensity, as will higher amounts of wind shear, which is also on the cards. Look at the red and white areas towards the north of that storm, uh, huge amounts of wind shear to its north and northeast, which is where the storm will be headed into. Uh, looking at the water vapour imagery as well, we have dry air on both sides of the storm, but not really affecting the storm itself. Uh, dry air towards the uh, Ogasawara Islands of Japan and in northeastern China and the Korean Peninsula. So looking at the model runs then, the CMC first of all takes Vongfong, the next storm behind Fanfone, towards the Philippines. Uh, but as far as the current storm Fanfone is concerned, pretty much what is forecasted. Uh, but the next storm Vongfong could also pose a threat to the Japanese islands as well. The GFS model has a somewhat similar scenario with the storm stalling just south of Japan and it will probably turn towards the northeast then. Uh, but also worth noting another storm forming in the um, Indian Ocean uh, over Thailand which could develop into a real storm before striking India uh, as a significant uh, cyclone. Uh, but this is fan film right now in the past few hours on the uh, satellite imagery. You can see how the eye of the storm is still very clear. Uh, fairly ragged though, has been headed towards the northeast. Uh, got very close to some of the Japanese islands there just south of Kyushu. The name escapes me at the moment I'm afraid. Uh, but the storm is expected to move towards the northeast, has been doing so. Um, and still has uh, quite a significant eye wall around pretty much all of the uh, eye itself as well um, and will be affecting Shikoku in the next few hours in particular. Also the eastern coast of Kyushu will be having some heavy rainfall there along with uh, typhoon force winds, definitely a possibility uh, as is the case for the rest of southern Japan too. So let's take a look around the world tropics. Major Hurricane Simon uh, has peaked, it's weakening now. We also have uh, Typhoon Vongfong, which is also intensifying rather rapidly and could become a very strong Category 4, maybe even a Category 5 Typhoon on the cards, uh, but let's not speculate too much just yet. In 2014 so far this year we've seen 63 tropical storms, 35 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents around the world and 20 have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. That's more now than in 2010 and just one behind 2011, two behind 20, 2007. Uh, so 20, 20 Category 3 storms, 63 tropical storms, uh, 15 off 78 which was set in 2010 as well. You can visit Force 13's outlets on any of those uh, six links there. The website force13.com is the main place to be for all storm updates for all the storms around the world. Of course, the video websites will also have video updates, YouTube and Daily Motion. Just search Force 13 on there. As is the case with the social platforms, Facebook and Twitter, just search Force 13 on those mediums as well. And you can speak to me personally on Skype at Force 13 on there for tropical weather chat. Uh, updates have been fairly light recently, as you can probably tell, because I've been rather ill in the last few days. Uh, but here I am back again, even though I'm not in the best voice. The next update on this storm will follow in 24 hours' time. That's all for now.